how would you divide 84 divided by 3? Well, this is part of the new specification, GCSE Maths, and this is question 3. So what we're going to do is the bus stop method. And the key first step is realizing how to write it. So just follow the words, and we're going to do 84 divided by 3. Notice how those two lines I represented as divided by. It'll help you to remember it. So it's 84 divided by 3. Imagine it was um, 2,175 divided by 5. The way you'd write that using the bus stop would be 2,175 divided by 5. Let's do these two examples now and work them out. The first thing you do is you look to see if the first number, the one outside here, can go into the first number here. So can 3 go into 8? Yes, it can. It can go in twice with 2 remainder. Now, some students go over, they say 9 is closer, but you can't go over. So as many as you can fit in without going over. So 3 times 2 is 6. So it was 3 times 2 was 6. What's the remainder between 6 and 8? The remainder is 2. So you write that remainder on the right-hand shoulder of the 8. So just above and to the right of the 8. Because what happens then is you can almost draw a little circle and you have the next number that you're going to long divide, which is 24. 2 and a 4, 24. How many times does 3 go into 24? Well, 3 times 8 is 24, so you put the 8 up here. So the answer here would be 28. So the answer to the question would be 28. Let's do another example, this example here. So 2,175 divided by 5. Does 5 go into the first number? No, 5 can't fit into 2. So you look at the first two numbers, 21. Does 5 go into 21 how many times? Remember, you can't go over. Well, 5 times 4 is 20. And what's the remainder? The remainder would be 1. So the gap between 20 and 21 is 1. Draw the circle, which is 17. How many times does 5 go into 17? 3 times, with a remainder of 2. Because 5 times 3 is 15, and the gap between 15 and 17 is 2. Okay, the final one is 25. So how many times does 5 go into 25? And the answer is 5. So we can say that 2,175 divided by 5 is 435. And you can practice a few more examples on your own, but that should make you confident with doing any kind of long division.